Yes, my name is Jasmine. Jasmine Shelton, that is. <laughs> um, people call me Jazz, for short. Jasmine, what is your biggest life accomplishment? My biggest life accomplishment, for sure, is um, graduating college, getting two degrees in criminal justice, administrative justice. That was definitely a big milestone for me. Why was that such a big milestone for you? It's a big milestone for me because, um, well, I was the first grandchild of my grandma and my dad's side to actually um, graduate college, so that was pretty awesome. And not only that, but I had to go through a lot of things to get there, like my heart surgery and stuff. And, you know, at one point I did think, well, maybe um, I should just give it a rest <laughs> and maybe graduate, you know, in 2017. But I never gave up, so um, I feel like that's definitely a good trait of mine. <laughs> You said heart surgery. How did that impact you? Um, well, I feel like the heart surgery, it was obviously something hard to go through, but it definitely um, was beneficial because it made me much stronger and um, it needed to happen. So, you know, you can't, I couldn't avoid it, but I feel like the outcome was definitely better. I'm definitely better off and healthier, even though I still have the heart disease, but I'm definitely better than I was before. Can, do you mind going into details about your heart disease? Sure. It's uh, mitral valve regurgitation or mitral valve prolapse. And then I also have um, a um, heart murmur too, but that wasn't really what they fixed. Um, it was making me sick. I had it since I was like um, 15. And I just passed out one day uh, while I was playing tennis, while I was trying out for tennis for school, for high school. And um, I went to the hospital, and that's when they found the mitral valve regurgitation slash mitral valve prolapse. And um, they actually initially said that I wouldn't need surgery until I was 30, because it was bad, but it wasn't as bad as they um, wanted it to be in order to go in and do the surgery. And then um, before I turned 21, no, no, yeah, before I turned 21 in 2015, um, it was like February 2015, I went to the heart doctor because they were watching it every single year um, to make sure that it was the same. And my symptoms were worse, and so they just decided, well, we need to go ahead and just do the surgery so that you can feel better. And I was like, well, I, currently I was in school, and I was like, you know, I just want to finish school first, and then we can do the surgery, and then I won't have to worry about it as much. So I finished that semester, and then I had to take a semester off, the August semester, because the surgery was September 11th. Also, I wanted to get through my 21st birthday, which is August 24th. So, um, yeah. And then they went in and they put a anoplasty ring around my valve so that you could put the two leaflets together and that they would pretty much operate as one because that was the problem. They weren't operating as one. They were going in like totally different directions and making blood like spurt other parts of my body and making me sick. So that's what they did. And yeah, that's about it. <laughs> so who helped you get through that? Um, my mom definitely helped me get through that. She was there every single day. She took off for like two weeks um, of my recovery time just to be there. Um, because like you can't do anything for yourself once you have a major surgery like that. You can't like function. You can barely walk. Like I couldn't walk for the first like couple weeks. Um, so it's just a lot. So you need a lot of help with just everyday activities that people can do, you know, that normal people do all the time. So yeah. How did that change your mindset? It changed my mindset because um, like I said, it makes me stronger, but it also makes me see the world differently. Like I don't really stress about um, the things I would stress about before. And I just, um, I understand like, you know, how hard it can be to go through something and then have to um, recover because it kind of makes you a little bit, um, kind of like depressed when you can't just do everything you, that you used to do and you watch other people do it every single day and you just feel a little helpless. So it kind of makes you take things, um, take life more seriously. It just gives you a different outlook. So. Did that push you to try out for America's Next Top Model? Yes, that pushed me to do everything. It pushed me to um, do everything that I may not have done before that I may not have been brave enough to do before. And so now I'm just like, let's just do it. So then why does America's Next Top Model need you? 
I think that America's Next Top Model needs me because I am focused. I'm focused on the end goal, which is winning. Um, I've been doing this since I was 15. I love it. And I think that I definitely um, would come with experience, but also I'm willing to learn. And I know that this is just something that I've been wanting like forever, just to be a successful model. And I just would love to meet, you know, famous designers and people who are important in the fashion industry and just kind of um, get my foot in the door.